What's up guys? My name is Anthony Jenkins from Epitaph Tattoo. Today I want to spend some time talking about the new machine from Stigma. It's called the Force. I've got it right here. I've been working with this machine since we came back from our third lockdown. Uh, here in Ontario, we're having uh, a lot of trouble kind of staying open uh, because of constant lockdowns. So uh, it's been a challenge to get videos out there and uh, obviously to even do work, but uh, I've had a chance to work quite a bit with this machine and uh, you know, I just wanna give my impressions on it. Now, full transparency before I start this video. You know, my videos are of the things I am not sponsored by and they're typically things that I pay for. In this case, this machine was actually given to me by Stigma. Uh, and the asterisk beside that is that they at no point told me to say anything about the machine. Um, I told them clearly that if I had concerns or problems with the machine, um, you know, that I would add that to a review if I was going to do it. Um, and they were completely fine with that. And in fact, uh, they wanted to hear any criticisms so that they can help to improve the next time around. Um, and I've used and liked Stigma machines in the past, um, and I think that that's why they sent me a machine in the first place. Okay, so let's talk about it. This is the Stigma uh, Force, and it comes in a nice little compact carry case, kind of uh, fake leather. Uh, inside, you're gonna get your machine, which is here. Uh, attached to this machine is a power source. And you're also gonna get a couple little fittings, uh, sorry, one, one little fitting and uh, for a different cartridge and uh, your RCA plug. Um, so this is a battery pack that's attached to a linear rotary, okay? Um, now, retail on this thing, Canadian, $960, all the way up to $1,329. Uh, the 960 is gonna be just the uh, just the machine part, just the motor part and the grip here. And then obviously the, uh, the 1329 is with the power pack included. Um, in American dollars, that's 760 to about $1,050. Um, and so as I said, this is a wireless machine. Now with this machine, you actually have the option to plug in while you're working. So you have your micro USB that you can plug into while working, or you can actually strip the uh, power pack off of it and just simply add the um, the RCA connection. And you've got kind of, you know, a smaller kind of stout machine um, that will run that way if the battery pack runs out. Um, so the way the battery pack works is it just lines up in there and and uh, twists on. So really simple to do, uh, really simple to deal with if you were to run out of battery while you were working. Um, and so, you know, this machine, very simple to turn on, very simple to change your speeds. It's got four presets, it's relatively quiet. Um, it also has a, a boost mode, which uh, is no give, it's just a good solid hit. And then it's got three levels of kind of mechanical give um, that you can actually really feel and they do, uh, uh, they do give a noticeable difference in, in how you're working, okay? Um, now, so what I noticed is I prefer kind of boost mode or just uh, level one of give uh, if I'm doing some really soft shading in a, in a difficult area. Um, it's a dual cam tri drive system, so it, uh, it really does pack a punch and it's a little bit different than some of the other makers are doing. Uh, I would encourage you to go over to Stigma's website uh, and check it out if you have any kind of questions about um, you know, how the system is working because it is a little bit different. It's actually pretty neat tech to check out. Um, you know, as I said, it's, it's pretty minimal noise. Uh, it doesn't have much in the way of vibration. Um, Stigma is selling this in three different versions, uh, a 2.8 millimeter stroke, a 3.7 millimeter stroke, which is what I'm using right now, um, and a 4.5 millimeter stroke, if you like the kind of uh, the long stuff. Um, the weight of this machine is 178 grams. That's with the power pack. Without it, it's about 50 grams less, but obviously you're gonna have to have an RCA cord um, with that. And it comes in black and red, and I believe army green as well. So just kind of uh, pretty typical of anything from Stigma, um, their, uh, their color combos. So uh, let's talk about the pros and the cons of this machine. Uh, and I'll kind of let you know my overall opinion of it. And uh, 
you know, where I could think, where I think it could be improved and uh, where I think it fits into uh, everybody's rotation. So for starters, the pros, this thing has massive adjustability. Um, it is really like having a power source on the back of your machine that also will control your give, also will control, um, you know, the real feel of the machine and how it hits. Um, and that's not something I ever experienced before uh, using this machine. Uh, and so it's really exciting, I think, uh, for kind of, uh, you know, moving forward with machines, uh, you know, in the coming years, you know, I think we're going to see this technology get better and better. Um, so, you know, I, I'm really encouraged by that. Um, the boost mode is really cool. Um, being able to have your machine hit solidly and hit crisply, which is something I always really look for in a rotary, uh, I think is really nice to have. Um, and then also to have the three levels of give and have them be pre-programmable, um, very easy to access and, um, you know, have complete control over these things. Um, so, you know, I, I think that's a real positive. Um, also the ability to plug in, you know, so I had a few concerns in some of the other machines that I was using, some of the other battery machines I was using where, you know, the battery life can vary, um, but on a long day, you know, if I'm tattooing for six, seven, eight hours, and my battery goes, well, then I've got to, you know, set up another machine. I've got to swap out the batteries. I've got to do something. Um, so it is a bit more of a pain in the butt, whereas this one, you literally can just click off, um, click off the, uh, the power supply and, you know, plug something new in uh, with an RCA. Um, so it's, it's actually you know, pretty easy, although not the most convenient thing in the world. Um, you know, so yeah. Uh, the other nice thing, the other really nice thing about this is uh, it's Bluetooth enabled. So you can set it up with a Stigma foot pedal uh, that's Bluetooth. So for you guys, and I am one of them that kind of, you know, loves a wireless rotary, uh, but hates not having a foot pedal. You know, I've spent 20 years of my life stepping on a foot pedal. Uh, and so to not have it, it just... Um, Sometimes I will use a corded machine just so that I can use a foot pedal because I just feel more comfortable that way. Um, so that's definitely a big plus for me. Um, this thing also has the tilt um, adjustability. So the same as the, um, the Soul Nova uh, Unlimited where, you know, it'll actually tilt uh, when you want it to, to adjust the, um, the speed. So I don't necessarily see that as really a pro. I mean, it, it kind of gives everything to everyone. You know, there's there's basically nothing that's been left out. If you are interested in using the tilt, it's there. Um, but you know, for me, I think just the buttons, you know, it's very simple kind of user interface. Um, and so I think that I would prefer to use the buttons. I just kind of put a piece of barrier film over it and, and call it a day. Um, you know, we already talked about the hit in this machine. It's smooth feel. It's really got a, a nice sharp hit. Uh, it's very responsive. Um, so it feels good to tattoo with. Um, although uh, there are times when you have the kind of mechanical give on that it's noticeable that there's something going on uh, in the give that just feels a little, I don't want to say unnatural, um, because it doesn't affect the performance, but it is different than kind of any other machine I've ever used with kind of um, an imposed give on it, I guess. So I think that covers all the, the pros that I wanted to talk about, you know, tons of adjustability, the Bluetooth, the, you know, quick to change things up. Um, so, you know, I think that about covers it. Now, in terms of cons, there is a few that I've found with this machine um, over the time using it. When I first picked the machine up, I found that the balance of the machine and the way the grip was shaped, although it is ergonomic, the balance is really kind of in the back. Um, so I kind of wish that the grip itself was a little more robust or kind of offered a little more uh, weight in it to balance it out when you don't have the uh, the RCA attached. I think that the balance could be a little bit better, but I also like to choke up on my, uh, on my machine. So I'm, I'm typically kind of holding it here while I'm working, um, which doesn't really, uh, you know, doesn't really hinder, you know, being poorly balanced or a little bit poorly balanced. Um, it's a little bit of a nitpicky thing, but it's maybe something that you will notice if you're coming from either a corded rotary or uh, or something like a Sold Nova Unlimited or something with kind of a, 
a single lithium battery rather than a kind of a battery pack that weighs uh, kind of, you know, 50 grams, a uh, little bit more than 50 grams. Um, the battery life is my kind of next uh, thing to talk about, and it's a little bit shorter than I wish it was. Um, the most I can kind of get out of this machine is just around five hours, and I don't run it full tilt. Uh, this machine, for me, I don't need to run it, you know, full blast all the time. Um, so uh, it's right around 9 or 9.2. Uh, which isn't kind of its capability, uh, but you know the the capabilities of the machine are all preloaded into it, so you're not going to exceed uh, what it can actually do anyway. Um, so you know, four and a half or five hours for me is not really a full day. I tend to be taking on more, uh, doing larger pieces, and I need kind of more, a uh, little bit more life. Now, like I said uh, earlier, you do have the option to plug in both the micro USB or uh, switch over to RCA. And with RCA, truthfully, you don't get the boost mode, you don't get the, um, the give modes, but if you're working kind of in, uh, you know, in terms of just working a regular machine, turning it into a regular rotary machine without the mechanical controls, it actually runs really nice. I, I almost prefer it with the, uh, with the RCA. It's really smooth and consistent. Um, and the feel is just perfect. So, uh, I don't have any complaints about running it with the R RCA. Um, it would just be more kind of that it's a pain in the butt to, you know, take everything apart, strap on the RCA after, uh, you know, four and a half or five hours of work. Uh, so I wish I could get a little bit more of it. Um, and it, I guess on that, you know, along those lines, I, I do have kind of concerns about what happens when this, uh, you know, when this power source, the batteries that are contained in it start, you know, losing their charge a little bit. So. With other machines, you can just, you know, buy some new uh, new lithium batteries and pop them in and uh, you're right as rain. With this one, uh, I can't really see any way that you could crack this open. I don't know that I would necessarily want to crack it open with the batteries that are in there. Um, so when this stops holding a charge, when it stops being able to run to five, or, you know, some people are obviously gonna get more depending on how you're running the machine. Um, you know, this, this piece is gonna have to be complete, replaced. It's essentially gonna go in the garbage, right? Um, so it's definitely not as long as some of the others that I've tried. Um, and, you know, the replacement for this is $370 Canadian, which is what a tattoo machine used to cost. Um, or, you know, that's about $300 American too. So, you know, it's significant, it's not nothing. Um, you know, and if you have to do it every year, uh, I haven't used this machine for a full year yet, I haven't had the opportunity to, but I've certainly put, um, you know, probably a couple hundred hours of tattooing on it um, and haven't noticed any real change. Um, but, you know, with batteries, I'm sure that that, that, can, uh, um, that can start to change and can start to affect, uh, you know, the life of the machine and, and how often somebody wants to use it. So um, it's a considerable, uh, considerable investment for something that is maybe going to have to be changed um, in a year's time or in two years time. Okay, so uh, what are my conclusions on the machine? Do I think it's worth your money? Do I think that it should be in your rotation? Uh, yeah, I do. I, um, I really like the machine. I find myself using it a lot and pulling it in my drawer and using it more than I actually thought I would. Um, it obviously was on my list to get and try because I've been happy with uh, Stigma machines in the past, um, you know, and I'm, I'm, I've been, been quite happy with this machine. There hasn't been a point where, um, you know, the tattooing has felt like it's, it's real hard work. Some machines, you know, you feel like it's a bit of a grind um, getting through kind of 40 or 50 hours so I can give a review of. And this one really hasn't been at all. Uh, I've been super happy with it and, and have continued to use it. Um, so it is expensive. There are a couple cons with it, but in terms of wireless machines right now, I think that this one's pretty close to the top of the heap. Uh, you know, the tech that's involved in it, uh, the adjustability with the power pack, the real plug and play, that there's no real learning curve for this machine. Um, that stuff outweighs some of my concerns about battery life. It outweighs, definitely outweighs my concern about balance in the machine, because I think that's something you get used to. It's just, you know, my first impression of the machine when I used it the first day was, you know, I felt like I was a bit wrangling it this way. 
um, because you know the shape of this is a little bit pointed and it it just felt like I needed something more there um, you know to uh, to kind of have a little better control but you know that went away pretty quick and I got comfortable with it pretty fast so um, you know I think that the machine is definitely worth a try if you're in the market uh, I have already been re uh, recommending it rather to uh, you know people as they're commenting through and, and and asking for recommendations I've been saying to check this one out because I really do think it's uh, it's about as good as you can get right now and um, I've been really impressed with the feel both in color black and gray line work um, I've done you know kind of everything that I could do to um, really put it through its paces and 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 see who this machine is going to be best suited for and you know short of kind of strict uh uh you know traditional tattooing um you know i think that this is kind of the you know the kind of perfect machine all around because you can do your line work and you can do kind of all types of shading with it uh with the various modes that you can preset which is real handy so um, I think that about covers everything. This this machine's really great, um, and uh, and I've been really happy with it. So check it out if you can. I'll um, I'll put a link in the uh, in the description, and you can check out uh, Stigma's website for kind of better explanations about the uh, the tech that's involved in the machine and uh, and kind of all the features that it has. Because I I didn't want to spend a ton of time because I know that their website uh, is is also really clear on kind of what's going on with the machine and. Uh, explains the brushless motor and, and uh, all, all kinds of stuff like that, the, uh, the movement function. So um, I hope this has been helpful for everyone. I also hope to be bringing more uh, reviews over the next little while. I've got another kind of mini review plan that I'm working on right now. Uh, if anybody's still interested in the Axis Valhalla, I finally have one of those in hand. Um, so I'll be doing a review then. I, that's, you know, got to be the number one thing that everybody's asked me for over the years is uh, to, to get a review out for the Axis Valhalla, uh, which just makes tons of pressure because I know everybody loves it. And if I don't, then, uh, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are pissed off. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I try to be as honest as possible. So um, if there's any questions, please just add them into uh, the comment section. I, I address as many of them as I can. Find me on Instagram, uh, Anthony Jenkins underscore ET. You can check out work that I've done with this machine. Uh, with other machines um, and my artwork um, there and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe just uh, hitting the like button really does help with uh, YouTube's algorithm nowadays and it helps uh, even the people that are already subscribed to the channel it helps them to actually see the videos that I'm putting out uh, because I don't put out tons of com uh, content so uh, thank you and I appreciate everybody watching and uh, I'll see you next time thanks so much